my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. All right, so it's another day working on the 240. I just pulled out the whole exhaust. Um, I'm going to be putting the AFR on, so I got to put a hole in the downpipe and then, um, you know, wire it all up. But I can't drill a hole in it today. I'm going to drill a hole with it uh, or for it tomorrow when I'm at work. And I also took off the whole cap back because I figured, um, you know, I'm probably going to be switching the muffler, so I just took the whole thing off. Um, I did show you guys what this muffler looked like. Sorry, when I was doing the swap. Ugh. Anyway, that's the bottom of it now. Rip the can open and there's like some hair coming out of it. But yeah, again, that's the like $100 Spec D eBay exhaust. But uh, let's get that out of the way a little bit. And I have some more bad news about the car. So basically, just as it starts working, the starter dies, so, oh, sorry, the starter, and I'm pretty sure the, uh, the idler pulley for the, um, timing belt is done, because it's been squeaking for a while, and I just kind of put it off, and then the other day I got some, like, I don't know, belt conditioner, they call it, and you spray it on the belts, and that's supposed to, you know, stop any type of squeaking going on but um, it didn't help my situation at all so I'm pretty sure it's the the tensioner just because that's typically what it is on these cars or at least with the RB engine so I have to order a new RB20 starter and an RB20 um, what's it called RB20 uh, idler pulley thing also online it says to check your um, your neck, your uh, ground here. See if you have a good battery connection. Right now, mine is cracked, and maybe that has something to do with it. This is a brand new battery, and I know that I have um, I know that I have battery power because you know I turn on the car and all the accessories and lights work and everything has a lot of power, and the starter won't click or anything. So. And also I inspected the harness under here just to make sure that the radiator hasn't burned through it or anything like that because the tucked radiator is literally making contact with the harness. Um, so yeah, that still, still looks like it's in good condition. And so I gotta, I'm probably just gonna get a new, um, a new ground cable before I, before I go about replacing the starter. But, um, We'll see how it goes. Also guys, my Racing Heart C5s are for sale. Some of you on Instagram saw that. They're 17 by 8 in the front and 17 by 9. There's plenty of tread on them. We'll definitely pass inspection. Uh, let me just see if there's a wear marker. Yeah, so there's a wear marker right there. Can't really see it, but there's plenty of tread. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, so there's a wear marker right there. Plenty of tread on the front and back. Um, uh, I'm forgetting the offsets right now. I think the rear is plus 35, and the front, the front is even higher. It might be like plus 40 or something, because there's not a whole lot of lip on the front. But um, just trying to switch up the look this year. Uh, pretty sure I'm gonna get the Origin fenders, and I'm thinking about getting some overs for the rear just because uh, you know this little annoying dent which isn't you know a huge problem but over here this rust hole sorry you can't really see it hold on so another reason why I want to get over fenders is just because that hole has gotten so bad and I haven't even noticed it um, the metal around the wheel arch is just pretty much gone and so that would complicate the repair a lot and if I just kind of cut it till it's good metal and then sealed it while there's still metal there I think that'd be my best option and then just throw something over it because I know the, the the rear bumper would cover this lower portion of the fender and then I got the uh, if I had the the 50 millimeter uppers then 
you know, that cover that stupid little dent too. That's really in a hard spot to clean up just because it's on the it's on the crease right there. But yeah, those are just kind of some plans for me to do over the upcoming winter. Uh, you know, I also got to rust proof the car because the bottom is getting pretty hairy again. Um, I mean, there's no holes in it, but there's definitely a lot of surface rust, and so I gotta grind that off and seal it before the winter comes. Also, I went to a meet the other day, guys, and I was doing some drifting earlier that day, and then I drifted some more on my way out, and I totally forgot how bald my tires were already. And so I've got the, the metal beads starting to come through, so I had to do like 40 miles an hour the whole way home. I was terrified. I thought the wheels were gonna like explode or something. Plus I had, I had rubber coming off of this one. You can see it right there, but drift life. <laughs> How to be a douche, typical 240 owner. You know, I just shred so much tire with my 200 horsepower, you know, rear wheel drive, Hoonigan, Hoonicorn. So I'll try to start it now. And nothing. doesn't click or anything. Open down pipe. My tires are bald as shit and I have the wire bead hanging out of them. Um, I hope they don't pop from this pole, but it's open down pipe so I have to do it. idler pulley going away. Yeah, that idler pulley is not happy. on the highway that thing sounded amazing with open down pipe too much wind noise in this. I feel like there is because I have the top off right now. Alright, let's not get killed here.
surprised that E90 is right on us.